get punched in the face for thinking I'm just a YouTuber. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, YouTube, it's your boy, Up Glassy. You are now tuned into the Realist Reaction channel on the tube. I need everyone to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Takashi69 first live since he's been home. You feel me? The live is like about 10 minutes long. So, I'm, at certain parts, I'm going to just skip certain parts. I'm not going to really sit here. Watch 10 minute live video, you feel me? Let's get straight into it, no more further ado, see what's going on, what he's saying. I might just re react to the whole thing. What's the vibes? Huh? What's the vibes? Y'all ain't getting money. He came home play. Yo. That's no. I got a fast forward. Fuck shit. I'm on my dolly. I'm on my bullshit. Fuck all the niggas I used to run with. But that's that old shit. Gotta skip. Gotta skip. I don't want to get copyrighted. I gotta get new jewelry. This is a half million dollars. Half a million. Look at the diamonds in them teeth. Rocky boy. And nobody got this watch. Well, I think like two people got it, but if you don't got this watch, we can't beef. Me and you are not in the same bracket. At all. If you don't got this watch right here, this watch right here, this watch, over a half a million, why? We can't beef. I broke the YouTube. I'm at 5 million views in one he hour. Y'all can't did, even though. get 100,000 views. Listen. Nah, he definitely did broke your hoes. Listen, we can't beef. There's no beef. I'm the king. Y'all know this. Listen, you know the legendary shit that I be talking about? You know why people so mad? Because... They thought it was over for me. They counted me out. Oh, yo, you, yo, you ride it to the right. It's over for me. I ain't friend. Niggas definitely thought could it never, was over for me. Y'all could never cooperate. Quick disclaimer, though, before we go any further into this video. I do not condone snitching. I don't condone none of this shit he did. Because I know niggas is like, yo, y'all gonna say a whole bunch of bullshit. But, uh, nigga, at the end of the day, this is business. And you not a snitch because you reacted to another nigga that snitched. Like, nigga, what the fuck you want me to do? Not... Not bring y'all what's going on in hip hop. Come on, that's what I do. Pray with the government and come back. Y'all can never do that. I'm a living legend at the age of 24 years old. You hear me? Look at the look at these 1.6 million. Yo, shout out to Tory. Shout out to Drake. Shout out to Bad Bunny. 1.6 million niggas can never on Instagram live. Stop playing with me. Numbers, Stop man. playing with me. Look at this. 1.6 million. 1.6 million. We can't beef. Me and y'all not the same. King of wait. Why well, keep hearing King of New York? King of New York. Y'all not the kings of New York. Look at the numbers. Oh, what well, he winning right now, yo? Yo, how y'all let that kid rap, right? How y'all let him He's a king of trolling. That's what he did. Still get more numbers than us. Break all the records. Why y'all let y'all can't stand it? Something. Y'all can't stand it. Y'all can't listen. You live your you live your whole life, right? You live your whole life trying to be a real nigga. And 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 this is me. This is real Danny shit. Fuck six nine, right? This is some Daniel Hernandez shit. <laughs> you live your whole life trying to be a real nigga, trying to be a stand up to a loyal guy, to try to shit on a kid like me, to be like, yo, fuck that. He's a rat. He's a rat. He's a rat. He's a rat. To be like, yo, he ride it. To them, a rap. I see what he's trying to say, but he wanted to say so much at the same time that he losing train of thought. Now he basically saying like, yo, a lot of y'all niggas lived y'all life trying to be street niggas, trying to portray that real nigga shit so much. And this nigga did the whole opposite and he's still doing better in life than you are. A rat like me to come home and still do more numbers than you? I would oh, be that's mad crazy. Too. I would be mad too. If a rat came home and did more numbers than me, I would be mad too. I would. I, I promise you I would be mad. If a rat came home to like shit, I'm mad I too. And did more numbers than me, I would be mad. Uh, you have every reason to be mad. Every reason. Because no matter how much dirt y'all throw on my name, no matter, and I've seen everything. Everybody want to be quiet now. For two years, y'all made fun of me. Y'all done made memes of me. Y'all done 
through my name in the dirt, yo rap bitch, fucking Y'all yeah, didn't go what I went through and I still came home and I'm a legend at the age of 24 years old because I came home Spanish and a rat is doing more numbers than you. I would be mad too. I would. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. A real nigga wouldn't be able to sleep at night. I would go home sleeping like, why is this kid doing better than me? I wouldn't be able to sleep. I don't blame you, nigga. I don't blame you. I would be mad too. I would be mad. If, if a nigga ratted and I spent my whole life trying to be a real nigga, I'd be mad too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, I'm, I'm genuinely sorry. And, for, and, and another thing I want to address. For the King of New York shit, Let's cut that out. Little boy, sit down. If you don't got this watch, I'm not beefing with anybody from New York. Yo, who is he talking to? He called a little boy. New York, if you don't got this watch. If you don't got this watch right here, you're a little boy to me. I'll kiss you on your forehead. You're a little boy. Sit down. King's home. It's over. It's over. This guy is funny. Y'all got, and I get it. If you got one Richard Millie, nigga, this is all mine, nigga. No, I'm fronting them. Fucking. I'm fronting them. Whatever y'all rappers do, it's mine, nigga. All four cars, Lambo, uh, uh, Lamborghini Aventador, Wraith, McLaren. Yo, is it me the only one who noticed this nigga is in an attic? G-Wagon. You name it, nigga. Old mine, old this boy. Y'all can't attic. fuck with me. Y'all can't compete with me. And I'm going to let you know that. What is he doing in the attic? He but I'm sorry. And, and now let me break it down. I'm sorry. I want to say that I'm sorry to my fans because you know what? All right, let me skip. I want to accept the fact that those is all true facts. Y'all don't want to accept. I'm supposed to be loyal to that. No, you know what? I bay moms be loyal to niggas that kidnap me, beat the shit out of me on video and everything. I'm supposed to be loyal to that. No, you know what? You know what it is? Y'all don't want to accept the fact that those is all true facts. Y'all don't want to accept. Y'all understand why I snitch. Y'all understand. Y'all don't want to understand. It's not that y'all don't understand. Y'all don't want to understand. Y'all don't want to understand that. Damn, this kid really was a, a he he moved their families out of poverty. He he paid for schools for, for 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 all of the members, whatever, but he snitched on them. Why? Were they loyal to me? Cause I when when I met when I met son, he was sleeping on the rug. I I, I give him your look, rainbow Mexican hair kid, I rap. I'm not about that gang shit, but listen, I know how to get us out. You wasn't loyal to me, whether whether but y'all understand. Let's let let's just y'all I don't want I got rainbow hair. That was your reason, right? Or he's mad, loud. That was your reason. But then now y'all got a reason. So of course the go-to is, oh, he snitched. He's a rat. He's a rat. So that's y'all go-to, which I understand, and I don't blame y'all. I can't blame y'all. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to my fans because they don't deserve that. My 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 family, my mother, my he family like don't deserve cry. that. And I'm sorry, but y'all not gonna break me down like if I did something wrong. Listen, I snitched, I ratted. But who was I supposed to be loyal to? If you can't be loyal to me out here in the free world, and you fucking my baby mom, and while I'm out on tour making money for all of us, you back at home sleeping with my baby mom, then I get kidnapped, then you try to kill me? If you can't be loyal to me out here in the free world, what would you think if I would've held it down, you wouldn't violate me in the prison? Stab me up, poke me up in my neck. What? You I'm not going to lose my life over of a, of a no hater. Still over no, snitched, yo, though. you did the wrong. Nah, y'all understand it. Y'all don't want to understand it. Y'all don't want to understand it. Hey, thank you to, you know, the, the, the judge for, you know, allowing me to come home. To All right, I ain't going to watch no more. All right. I'm going to cut it right there. All right, he had a valid point just now when he said that if these niggas couldn't have been loyal to him in the street, then they might have killed him in jail and shit. That's a possibility. They might definitely have would have killed him in jail and shit. But then again, they might not have because they would have used him for the bag and he would have been paying for shit. He would have been basically the one feeding them in there too and shit. They might have kept him under the wing or whatever. But who knows? Anyways, I don't condone snitching. I don't condone none of the shit this nigga did. You feel me? No matter what, they was gonna fuck your baby moms, they was gonna do this, they was gonna do that. Alright, we you you just said fully, you went to them like yo, I'm a rainbow head kid, I know how to get up, I know how to get us out the hood and all that shit. Alright, that's a given. You said you're not a gangster. Okay, you weren't a gangster. Why were you portraying the gangster image then? You feel me? You was out here. Sp spinning niggas blocks basically going to Chicago on in niggas turfs and shit like that promoting a whole lot of beef and shit you paying niggas to go shoot at niggas and all that but then you want to snitch on niggas in the long run at the end of the day did they tell you to pay Cuda to go shoot at 
Chief Keith in, 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 in Manhattan? Did they tell you to do They forced you to do that too? So at the end of the day, even though you're not a gangster, you still did certain things that gangsters would do. So you needed to pay for those shit too then. Technically, if that's the case, you're supposed to be doing time with them niggas too because you did shit that would have got you in trouble. So why the fact that you got in trouble, you have to bring niggas down? And then you were snitching on niggas. You, you're saying, okay... You snitch on the niggas that robbed you and da, da 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 But that's not the only niggas you snitched on. That's not the only niggas you got in trouble. You didn't just get um, shoddy and them in trouble. You got other niggas too. You got other people hoods getting rushed because of you, bro. You, you, you indicted mad niggas. So at the end of the day, you can't say, oh, just because niggas beat you and robbed you and shit like that, you snitched on them because that's not the only people you snitched on. So what's your excuse for the other people that you also snitched on? You feel me? Like I said, I don't, I don't condone this shit. This shit, this shit. this shit is ridiculous. I don't condone this shit. You know what I mean? But y'all comment in the comment section below. Let me know what y'all think about the situation because I could, I could get in depth and keep talking about it, but I don't want to speak too much on the situation. I already, I'm already at 10 minutes and changing the video. Y'all know I don't like to make long ass videos and shit. You feel me? But. He is a smart nigga. This is, this is how I'm going to end it off. He's a smart nigga. He's a businessman. He knows how to work people's brain. He knows how to work the system in his favor. He promoted his song that he's dropping it on a certain time. So people already know they're getting prepared to watch it. He didn't just drop it. He got people prepared to go watch his song, right? So that right there brought big traffic to his song. Then he went on Instagram Live. Feel me? So that right there is two promotions. He's promoting the shit out that song. The song crack YouTube. Over, over, over 5 million views in an hour. Like, he's beating NBA Youngboy at the numbers right now with this song. You feel what I'm saying? And everybody said they don't like him because he's a rat and this and the third. But no matter what, they're going to go support him. Even though you're not going to put it on your playlist. You still make sure you went and watched to see what he had to say. So at the end of the day, he knew that and he used that to his advantage. Y'all just made him a big bag. Y'all say snitch all you want to, you feel me? I really don't care about calling him a snitch no more because nigga, he snitched already. So we know it. He admitting it. He's trolling. He's laughing at niggas. He's saying he snitched so well, he don't give a fuck. So what you gonna keep saying, yo, you're a snitch, you're a snitch, you're a snitch. Not gonna, it obviously don't affect him and it doesn't matter. It didn't stop him from getting that bag. So nigga, find something else to say. Like, fuck it, shit. He a snitch anyway, but still, fuck it. You dig what I'm saying? We don't condone what he doing and we're not gonna put him on the play. Well, I know I'm not gonna put him on my playlist. He was never on my playlist to begin with. Anybody that's my friend in real life knows that from he came out, I'm like, yo, I don't believe this nigga. I'm not buying nothing he said. It's bullshit. You feel me? Niggas can tell you that I had whole debates with my homies about it. Niggas believe, some niggas believe that this nigga was tough. Some niggas didn't believe, but you feel me? I always didn't believe none of the shit he was saying or whatnot. You feel me? But I ain't gonna keep going ranting about this shit. Y'all leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what y'all feel about the whole situation and all that. It's your boy Upper Class. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Good.